March is Bulldog Month at Caesars Way. Bulldogs are really popular dogs. In fact, they're the sixth most popular breed in the United States. In Los Angeles alone, they're the number one most popular breed, with French Bulldogs, or Frenchies as we like to call them, come in at number five. As a rescuer and dog behaviorist, it's very important to me that people who are about to rescue, adopt, or purchase a dog from a breeder understand exactly what they're getting into. It's really important that you understand the breed you're considering and you feel confident that your lifestyle, your personality, your financial position, everything's compatible with the breed's unique needs before you bring a dog into your home and your life. If you're looking for a dog with a great temperament, it's hard to go wrong with a bulldog. They generally have fantastic dispositions and they make great family pets. That being said, they are tenacious. So if you don't establish yourself as the pack leader, you could have problems. Make sure when you do integrate a bulldog into your life that you establish rules, boundaries, and limitations. Become the leader and allow your new bulldog to follow and you'll be on your way to a fantastic relationship with your new dog. Bulldogs can be a high maintenance breed. They've been bred for some unique physical characteristics. They've got their little smashed faces and their stocky little bodies and that might be really cute, but it does come at a price. So I wanna to talk to you about some of the conditions that might require consideration and possibly ongoing veterinary care. Bulldogs are a brachycephalic breed. Now this word comes from its Greek roots, meaning short head. Brachycephalic dogs have been bred to have a normal lower jaw in proportion to their body size and a compressed upper jaw. So when you produce this cosmetic appearance, what we've done is we've compromised these animals in many important ways. Some of the issues associated with the condition are an elongated soft palate. Now the bulldog's compressed skull still has to fit all that soft tissue, but in a much more compact space. So this creates a lot of breathing difficulties, as well as the common snorting associated with bulldogs. Surgery can help eliminate some of the excess flesh, making it a lot easier for the bulldog to breathe. Another common condition bulldogs suffer from is called hypoplastic trachea, which refers to an underdeveloped windpipe. Now this, coupled with very narrow nostrils and an elongated soft palate, can cause really serious breathing difficulties and overheating issues, especially when they're in warm weather and they're doing outside physical activities. Dermatitis is another common issue with bulldogs. These wrinkles and excess skin folds on their faces are really prone to infections. So these folds should be inspected for signs of redness and clean on a daily basis. Hey Lou, let me get in there. There you go. Bulldogs are one of the few breeds that are born with naturally dock tails and they can come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. Tightly screw shaped tails and inverted tails should be really closely monitored because they can get skin infections within those skin folds. Now surgery occasionally is required in order to fix those ongoing problems. Eye problems are not uncommon in bulldogs. The bulldog's shortened skull doesn't allow adequate space for their eyes, which causes them to protrude more than other breeds. That leaves them more susceptible to injury. So if you're in love with the breed and have your heart set on a bulldog, I encourage you to learn as much as you can about bulldogs before you bring your new friend home. And remember the tips I just gave you and always remember the most important rule, Always provide your dog with exercise, discipline, and affection in that order. Right, Lou?